Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. I've made several videos showing different soldering techniques using the nickel silver alloy solder that we sell on our website. But I haven't talked much about how it's a little different than most of the solders that are out there. So let's open up a pack and take a look. Here's the solder out of the pack. It comes with a twisty on it to keep it from just flying apart. You notice it has a little bit of a dull finish to it compared to solders with a higher silver content. That's because of the nickel that's in it, but it shines up really well. Now this is one troy ounce and it measures out to be 22 feet long, which is about 5 to 10 percent longer than most of the solders out there. That's because it has a little less silver and it's compensated for that with the nickel. It comes with a sandpaper strip to clean the surface of it. Now you can cut this to length or you can pull it out using the twisty to hold it in place or pull it through the twisty, however you want to do it and you can set that aside. You'll notice it's a little stiffer than your normal solder and that's because it's got the nickel in there. But I like that stiffness because it's like soldering with a wire and it's nice and rigid. Now what I do is I use the sandpaper and scrape the surface, get it nice and clean. I'll go over it about four or five times. And then I'll take a paper towel and wipe it and it'll have some black on it. Or if I'm really feeling like I want to do a great job, I can put some alcohol on that paper towel and wipe it off and get it really clean. You don't really have to do that. The nickel is really resistant to tarnish, so it's not going to have much tarnish on it to start with. That's one of the advantages of it. Now, um, some of the other advantages that I've talked about in the videos is that it does form, as well as a mechanical bond, it forms a chemical bond between this metal and the parent metals, especially if they are like nickel chromium wires or something like that, which is typically what we solder. It's also got a little bit higher melting point, but you won't really notice that. But the advantage of that is it will withstand the heat a little more and it will be a little less apt to bubble. So there you have it. Check it out on our website, ortholabvideos.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.